WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, second day of June, Friday, wrapping up the week. We're looking at the Dow 500 points at 32,564. Fabulous action. Good action yesterday. Didn't hold the gains. And then suddenly today just took off on uh, news of actually the news should be negative, but the market is taking it positively. That's all you want. How does the market react to the news? That's all you care about. Not the news, the reaction. And now on the weekly chart, you've got your H pattern goes to an M pattern, but you, you're looking much, much better. And I'm, I'm suggesting that there's a chance that we start to see the SMHs, which are uh, up a little bit now, up 12 cents, start to take a bit of a breather after a spectacular five sessions. And uh, all I can say is that as that rotation takes place, you start to see a little bit of action in Caterpillar and stocks like that. That's really important. The other thing is the S&P at this point, moment is lagging a little bit. The Dow it's up 1.24 percent. Dow's up 1.55. S&P up 51 at 4272, broke breaking right as we speak. The resistance, the Chapman Wave Inside Track resistance, that's really important. We'll be watching this uh, early next week to see does it continue. The QQQ. Um, trading uh, only up 0.78%, up 276 at 364.79. Leg F, um, it's probably getting, uh, I would I would say, on a, just a short-term basis, getting a little bit overboard. Uh, this is the QQQ. The uh, AWM is showing good strength today. It's up 2.2%, up 387 at 179.54. That's nice action. 181.20 is the 200 period moving average as a target for next week. We're looking at gold. <clears throat> Gold's pulling back. Down 14. The dollar's trying to rally. It's really not doing very much. It's up 26 cents. Um, you're looking at crude oil that did have a nice bounce, but I think it's just stuck in a range. I don't see it going anywhere very fast. And the TLT says, yeah, yields can go up a little bit more, but they're really stuck in a range. You can see this by the chart. So with that said, if you look at the 10-minute uh, E-mini chart, it's only in leg C. It should go still to a D. And that says there should be higher highs to come uh, today in the um, in the market based on this particular 10-minute uh, chart of the S&P E-mini. And it's up uh, 56 points right now. And as I said, in the channel wave, you're always looking for at least a peak D. That's where other things can happen in slowly in leg C. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned. Don't forget, next week, uh, Tim Ward has a, a webinar. Check the front page of TFNN. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend.